Electric or mechanical compressor? Which one should I buy? In today's video, we will explore the real differences between the electric compressor and the mechanical compressor and find out which one is best suited for your vehicle. Hi, my name is Luis and today we're going to talk about the differences between electric and mechanical automotive air conditioning systems. First, we need to understand how each compressor works. The mechanical compressor, also known as a belt compressor or direct drive compressor, is driven by a belt connected to the vehicle's engine. On the other hand, the automotive electric compressor is powered by electricity and does not depend directly on the vehicle's engine to function. In summary, the main difference between a mechanical compressor and an automotive electric compressor is the method of drive and the power source. The mechanical compressor is driven by the rotation of the motor via a belt, while the electric compressor uses an internal electric motor to generate the required pressure. Each has its advantages and its disadvantages in terms of performance if efficiency and control. It is important to mention that there is a performance difference between a mechanical compressor working at low and high speeds. Also, there are 12 and 24 volt compressors. To get the maximum performance for an electric compressor, it is necessary to have an adequate power supply. It's no good having a low capacity alternator or a weak battery, as this limits the compressor's performance. Now, let's talk about the advantages of the electric compressor. With the electric system, you can have the air conditioning running even when the vehicle is stopped and the engine off. This makes all the difference, especially for truck drivers who sleep in the vehicle and need thermal comfort during their night. People often make the mistake of not providing the electric compressor with the necessary current, voltage and amperage. This can cause the compressor to run, but does not cool adequately. Therefore, it is critical to ensure that the vehicle's alternator is generating enough ampere for the electric compressor to operate at its maximum speed. In addition, our complete electric boxes can replace the intercalimate system, allowing drivers to stay cool inside the truck all day and even for a good period of the night, even with the engine off. Another big advantage is that the electric compressor does not take torque or power from the vehicle's engine. Therefore, we recommend the use of electric compressors for people who have low cylinder cars or older vehicles, which cannot or do not want to lose engine power. A crucial point to note is the easy of installation of the electric compressor. This is undoubtedly the most important aspect for those who wish to adopt an electric air conditioning system, especially in older cars. By opting for the electric compressor, you don't have to worry about finding space for a compressor bracket or about manufacturing brackets that are not available in the market. Also, there is no need to find a place inside the engine's compartment to accommodate the mechanical compressor, eliminating the difficulties related to the belt and alignment. The ease of installation, especially in vehicle designs that are not feasible for the installation of a mechanical compressor, is the main motivation for choosing the electric compressor as a solution. However, let's talk about some disadvantages of the electric compressor. The 12 volt output is lower when the vehicle's alternator is not running. We should also point that, compared to the mechanical compressor, the electric compressor still has less power, especially on 12 volt systems. And finally, finding qualified professionals to work with electric compressors can be a challenge. But don't worry, here at Qualier, we have professionals ready to provide technical support if needed to ensure a quality service. And this brings us to the end of this video about the main differences between the electric and the mechanical compressor. Now, you are prepared to make a decision that best suits your need. Remember, consider all the points discussed, such as performance, ease of installation, advantages and disadvantages. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a comment, we will answer all your questions. See you soon!